Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Cleary scores at 49-46 for Cannonier. D'Amato, 49-46 for Strickland. And Camillo scores at 49-46 for your winner by split decision, Jared, the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer! I'm here with the winner, Jared Cannoneer. Jared, congratulations. A very, a very tight fight between both you guys. When you're sitting here waiting for the scorecards to be read, what's going through your mind? I thought I had it three to two. So I was pretty confident that I won. I did a little bit more damage. We saw the blood on his face from the first round and the second and the last round. So uh, I thought I did enough. It was a great fight. I mean, back and forth, you guys really put your striking on display. You were landing the big power shots. Sean seems like one of those guys. Now that you've been in here with him, how tricky it is to, to figure that range out, get past the jab. And, and do your work. I wouldn't say it was too tricky. It was just conventional, you know? Sean's got decent, uh, he's got a very good uh, eye for that distance. He's done so much sparring. He's done this for so long. So he was able to read me when I was getting ready to come or when I, even when I was trying to fake. So he was maintaining a good distance. And then uh, even as he was stepping in for his jab. So he was doing a good job at uh, not just walking forward like a freaking zombie. <laughs> And you landed a, a lot of really powerful leg kicks. Was that the game plan coming in here tonight, or was that something to kind of deal with that range since he likes to sit behind the jab so much, land those powerful leg kicks? You were doing some damage with him. It was definitely one of the answers to his jab, which is uh, one of his biggest weapons. So one of the answers was working for us. We had a whole playbook of answers for his jab, but uh, that one worked. Uh, Worked good enough. Going to the body, I heard, was, was getting told to you, especially going to the fifth round to try to, was that to try to set up some of the big power shots over the top? Yeah, Sean leans back. He's very good at not getting hit in the head. So uh, going to the body first, working those legs first, and then trying to open up upstairs was, is always the plan for anybody in combat sports. It, it, anybody who knows general combat sports knowledge knows that. If the head is hard to hit, go to the body, and then that'll set, settle things down upstairs. Now, Jared, obviously the middleweight division got shook up recently with Alex Pereira being the champ now. What are your thoughts on that? What do you want next? Now, you know, there's a fresh blood uh, at the top of this division. What are your thoughts and then what do we expect next from you? I would definitely like another title shot uh, sooner uh, rather than later. But, um, you know, uh, at this point, I'm ranked number three. I just beat number six. Uh, I believe uh, uh, Whitaker and Costa are scheduled to fight next year. Adesanya doesn't have a part, they haven't rescheduled the rematch yet, so anybody above me that will get me to the title fight or the title fight is what, I, is, is what we're shooting for. Well, listen, I thoroughly enjoyed that fight. Thought you had a great performance. Congratulations on another victory. I can't wait to see you get back in. Jared Cannonier, ladies and gentlemen.